Michigan Open stands for the Michigan Opioid Prescribing and Engagement Network. It is funded from the state of Michigan, specifically Medicaid. We use this Blue Cross funded platform for change. And then our mission is essentially community outreach. So getting unused opioids out of our communities. Two is research, developing new best practices. And then three is implementation. So helping clinicians do better care across the state of Michigan. From a community outreach perspective, we've actually held three drives here at the University of Michigan, partnered with the Ann Arbor Police, where we've actually been able to recover an incredible amount of opioids. People are coming out who have had opioids from as far back as 1981, 1985, just sitting in their medicine cabinets. And we think that there's an opportunity here to expand this across the state here in the fall and hopefully uh, beyond. I think um, part of our research, which is now morphing into implementation, is we hope to collect both prospective data from patients to actually understand how much are they consuming, in addition to how much is prescribed, to understand what's the mismatch there and what's the difference. I think that'll inform our evidence and guidelines that we can create about what is the right amount of opioids for patients to be prescribed after surgery. We have some novel methods to implement those in dashboard or physician feedback models. And then we have some other novel methods about opioid alternatives, whether those are pharmacologic or non-pharmacologic, and educational tools around opioid use that I think will really help patients in the post-operative period. I think another aspect that's been really exciting to see is the educational component, um, both informal. We have some ad hoc research and progress sessions that are starting, and then Mike has developed an educational curriculum for the medical school to try to understand best practices in opioid prescribing so that we can really start when our medical students are trying to learn how to be a doctor. I think that here at Michigan, we have the opportunity to test things with a group of very engaged surgeons, but then also see how these interventions or care pathways that we create here uh, apply outside because they may need tweaking or changing in, in other hospital systems or other communities. And I think that's the really attractive and unique portion of this platform is the ability to test it uh, in hospitals that I believe would represent any hospital in America. And I think, Mike, it's important to talk about the surgical collaboratives here and the, the, the very unique structure of the surgical collaboratives and the, and the opportunity there. Sure. There's a network of, of collaboratives that are run by clinicians to improve care across the state. Most of them are focused on surgical care, um, but not all of them. And really only a clinician can change, help another clinician change practices. So this family of clinicians is really a remarkable place where we can um, develop new best practices and then communicate them and disseminate them to have an impact. So there's, I guess the magic sauce of this is the support from Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan and the associated data that goes with it. Uh, a place like IHPI where the three of us are kind of in the same hallway and we start talking about these things and get really excited. And then um, being at a place like the University of Michigan where taking kind of the ideas and having such a broad network of individuals who can help us get um, the uh, insights and the resources we need to really help as many people as possible. Pretty much every state has been touched by the opioid crisis and we're actively already kind of discussing um, with the state of Illinois and the state of South Carolina, essentially saying this is what we're doing. We'll share everything we have. These are some insights and some opportunities. We hope to essentially have a, a toolkit so that w whether you're a small community hospital or you're the state of South Carolina, um, you can benefit from our experience.